Welcome to a new video, guys. I'm here walking up the hill in the other direction from my place. And we're going to kind of pick up where we left off on the other video this morning. And we had the live, I had the live stream. And now I need to head into the historic zone. I had a subscriber say that I should go check something out over at Soak D Residence. So check out this place for a night over there. Earlier, I had walked all the way up there where there was a little Chinese bun shop, and then I turned back. That's a delicious food. It smells incredible. We got chicken grilling on there. We got everything. We got a piece of everything on the grill right now. This chicken now on a mission. I need to get that little bike back. So the story on this little bike is Martin broke mountain bike gear shifter and he caught his son's little bike. Said, This this thing's sturdy. Use that until we fix the other bike. I had no plans of using it. It was a good laugh that he'd consider bringing it over even. Then I left my bike over at Reek's hotel, locked it up there, and I ended up having to need needing to use that bike actually. So I, I rode it over one day, his hotel, and parked it there and brought my bike back. Uh, we got to get that bike back. All right, we made it to that intersection we were at earlier. There's the Chinese shop, and we're headed up this road where we left off the other day. Two that they got here, still making stuff. Uh, they're going to have some fried chicken, y'all. Got the chicken in the batter. So we're going to start frying it. Ho oh, ho, fried chicken. Fried chicken last style is, it's okay. I can't say it's great like other things. I don't know why. Unlike many other things, they they didn't add hardly any flavor to it. It's pretty bland. And then instead of giving you a nice sauce like they do with most other things, they give you some shit packet sauce. It's real shit. So we made it up the road after taking a right there next to the famous over there. I see, as soon as I see the name, I oh, see the sign up here. Huh. Wat Vee Suden. So we got Wat Vee Suden here. And this is where the main backpacker area really they used to be. Nothing over here. Nine years ago, when I first came to Lone Kabon, only backpacker guest houses. And now this is probably. What more developed places because they have lots of restaurants and all this cool little spots to hang out where all the all the travelers coming through really has developed into a very interesting little area. The backpacker hostels and guest houses are still here, but uh, a lot of them have been replaced by restaurants, little bars, shops. They're nice little places, man. I haven't been to all of them, but uh, I've been to a few, and it's a nice night. Really nice atmosphere over there. Got yourself an ATM right here next to your guest houses. Find a bit of everything right here. You can find Lao food, Western food, sushi, Korean food, but everything. And which way do we want to go to get to Seth? Uh, try to get through over the hill as soon as we can. And we can go straight across to the big storage zone and over to Saffron Coffee, wherever we want to be. From this little river over to the uh, Namphal Riverside. See the end already done. It's a hard way. We made it. We're going to see you guys as far as the place to stay. That's how I do it. Maybe just checking out places as I go. As I look for housing, as I travel. Should I take the camera with me? Two stories. Nice little outdoor area to relax. That's probably the most important area for me. Unless it's steaming hot, then I guess you'll be inside. <laughs> I like the old French style. I got a reserve battery, so we'll be back. This day must be National Construction Day. It's got a grinder around every corner. But that's not going to stop us from showing you guys a beautiful room here. That's so good. Oh, okay. Watch. Well, Good morning, Tadai.
sixty dollars for the night if you pick breakfast. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, standard. And you also in the middle when it starts up. And I've got a lot to tell you guys. That was a super interesting video. Subscriber had me come over here to help me out with the bike. Get the day. Couldn't really facilitate that. But it just is what it is here. And you're much better off just to buy a bike. Why would you pay motorbike costs like five bucks to buy? And it's still rent. Why right, would I give you two or three hundred bucks? You can get a whole house, rent a whole house for two. I'm gonna give you two or three hundred bucks to rent a motorbike for a month. When that's like a ten percent of the cost to buy, the price. So, left with only buying a bike is the best option. And then, as far as the conversations we had were fascinating. But he was talking about the real challenge right now that they're facing a lot, and he said that the Thai people right now. So obviously a lot of people watch mostly Thai TV and stuff that the Thai people are really fighting with the government because what's happened there is happening here too, which is you have Chinese people come and they open businesses and then like all the Chinese people come here tourists, and they don't spend any money with any Lao businesses. They go with their tour groups straight to the Chinese hotels, big Chinese hotels that they build on the outskirts. Pay a bunch of money to other Chinese people because like they're getting cheap rates, man. And the Chinese hotels are not cheap, not nice usually, <laughs> but that's where their tour groups all take them. And then their tour groups take them to the Chinese restaurants, also owned by Chinese, and the Chinese shops, and they just spend money with all the other Chinese and a lot of money compared to the local prices. So then the Chinese people living here get very wealthy and start, you know, just opening all the businesses. They start. Doing, running all the tours, so the, the tour, uh, the, all the different tour options and adventure options are run by the team, not just the hotel, the food, the tours, every single little bit. It's like, so the Lao people never see it done. That's how these places get converted to just basically a little mini China's places. Like, people forget that so much of Thailand is based off of this, this, this very topic. Like, Chinese people have been fleeing China and going to Thailand hundreds of years and this very same thing, you know? And then they set up shop and they just slowly expand the businesses until they like own all the different businesses in every area and they just Chineseify everything. Little China everywhere. He said that the Chinese come here and they don't they don't learn anything. They just come here and have fun, have their fun and leave. Which is a very sad thing. I kinda of felt a similar way when I was in Mexico with Americans just show up and just complete jerks and just treat it like this is my holiday and they can care less about anything other than their fun. So it is a sad thing to me. You wish that people came and were here to learn about the culture and the way of life and food and all that, but some people are just here for their own fun in the picture and, and also chatted a lot about just doing business here and using a website, an app, and just talking to him and, and realizing how much help a lot of people need just with basic marketing online, how much more they could do for their business if they could understand online marketing. It's the average person, it just seems like that's like not a part of something they're familiar with. Like I've met so many people that the thing they get most excited about when we start talking about me doing YouTube is like, oh, you know how to do Facebook marketing? You know how to do marketing? I wanted to do a website for my, for my whatever business, for my hotel, whatever it is, and ask me some questions. I told them, you know, like these days, if you want to gain attraction and get to customers, you have to be committed to your online presence. On a daily basis, and with people here not really doing that, how much would you stand out if you actually did your online marketing for your business here? You actually promoted your business regularly throughout the week online here. Google doesn't promote your business in the algorithm in the searches if you're never doing anything, you're never posting anything. So, 
he was very interested in talking all about all that stuff. And I found a lot of people with me, which I think will be interesting for a lot of people. I think you'll find out here a lot of people are very, very interested and very ambitious. They just haven't had access to this information. And they're so willing and excited about learning. He said, talking to me just five seconds ago, that he would love to have people come stay for free, share their digital marketing expertise. Maybe you know websites, Sh share your website skills. Maybe you know IT, share your IT skills. That to me is a switched on man. When you say, you know, I can trade what I got for the knowledge to, to take my life to the next level. That's what it's all about. So if there's anybody out there that wants a beautiful room to stay in, has some skills and is an honest person that can actually share those in a, a valuable way for this person to, you know, take their business to another level. Definitely consider coming out here. I really would love to see people out here sharing their expertise with, with the folks that are willing and, and want to, to better their lives, you know. It's just a matter of access for people. Knowledge is power. We know this. And there's people that need it out here and want it. To escape that cycle, the same you know cycle that generations are in at over and over again. I drained both batteries. Okay? We got just enough left. I'll go film Reek's place tomorrow. That was the plan. I was supposed to also get the bike and everything. But what ended up happening is I was getting everything for barbecue. And now here we are. Barbecue and Lao style. We got our... Oh. Bow. We got Marin, moved here from Thailand. Reek's here from the U.S. And we got our barbecue oh going. Marin's already burned a couple pieces, <laughs> but we'll still, we're going to save it. We got a traditional Lao barbecue stove here that Bao Save those coal for later. Nice. You're Lao. Hire me for an advertisement. That's all I do. <laughs> Soon. You know what's going to happen here, Lao. You and me. Partners.